Welcome to Asian Anifax, the channel about Chinese, Korean and Taiwanese actors and actresses. Today I will show you the lists of dramas of Song Sung Hun, Part 2, Happy Together, 1999, Cast, Song Sung Hun, Lee Byung Hun, Kim Han Nol, Kong Sun Jian, Jo Min Su, Jun Ji Hyun. He played Seo Ji Suk, the second son in their family with one eldest sister and one younger sister. Seo Ji Suk's father is a policeman and his mother is a housewife. When Seo Ji Suk's father died in the line of duty, his widow mother remarried to a simple man with a son. Seo Ji Suk became the third son of the new family, but could not accept his mother's marriage, so he was indifferent to his stepfather and would not accept Seo Tae Pung, the son of his stepfather, as brother. When Seo Ji Suk's mother and stepfather died in a car accident, he distanced himself to his stepbrother and to his younger sister, who was the daughter of his mother and his stepfather, as Seo Ji Suk and focus in his study with only his eldest sister and younger sister that he considered family. Years later, he became prosecutor who had a good relationship with his longtime girlfriend, a kindergarten teacher with a kind heart. Seo Ji Suk went to the hospital to visit the father of his girlfriend, a baseball coach who was injured because someone collided to him in the field. Then Seo Ji Suk saw Seo Tae Pung who was also injured and found out he was the one who collided to the coach. Seo Ji Suk was disgusted to see Seo Tae Pung and did not acknowledge him in front of his girlfriend. But Seo Tae Pung was happy to see Seo Ji Suk as he has long been searching for him and his other siblings, but sad when he did not acknowledge him. But because of many circumstances Seo Ji Suk and Seo Tae Pung constantly meets and finally reunited when they found out that their younger sister was sick and needs a transplant to survive, all of them need to be tested to know who was compatible to her. Love Story Story 2 Message 1999 Cast Song Sung Hun Choi Ji Woo Cha Sung Won Lee Na Young He played Jun Sung, a playboy sales clerk who flirt with a woman and abandon her after a month. One day, after Jun Sung break up with a girl, his friend who is also playboy suggest they exchange beepers to avoid the women that they abandon. However, in the evening, a message notification pops up with his beeper and when he listens to the voice message left by a woman named Min Young, whom his friend had dated and broke up with after a month of dating. Jun Sung develops a strange curiosity about Min Young, but she doesn't leave her beeping number. Jun Sung's interest in her grown as she continues to send voice messages the next day. Jun Sung inquire about Min Young to his friend upon confirming that his friends is no longer interested in her. Jun Sung found out that she is a member of a theater troupe, so he went to the theater with a the girl he currently dating and heard Min Young voice, which he immediately recognized. When Min Young was waiting for her bus in the bus stop, Jun Sung wants to approach him, but he got nervous and only pass in front of her until she ride her bus. Jun Sung was able to get Min Young beeper number, and he sends a message to her. Later, Jun Sung agreed to meet Min Young in a restaurant, but when Min Young came, he got nervous again and hide his face on the menu. Min Young sends message to Jun Sung that she already arrived. Jun Sung sends message to Min Young and finally admit in the phone that he was Jun Sung while he was talking in the phone and looking at the table adjacent Min Young table. And they ends up staring at each other. Autumn in my heart. 2000. Cast. Song Sung Hun. Song Hai Kyo. Han Chai Young. Won Bin. Han Na Na. Yung Dong Hwan. He played Yoon Jun Hee, a young man comes back to Korea to marry his fiancée and tries locating his long-lost sister, Choi Yoon Hee, who got separated to him when his family immigrated to U.S. to start a new life. After they discovered years ago that Choi Yoon Hee, the sister that grew up with him until teenage, was not really his real sister. In Yoon Jun Hee's return to Korea, he meets up with his best friend, 
who unbeknownst to him had already encountered Choi Yoon Hee as she was working as a receptionist in the hotel where Yoon Joon Hee's best friend reside currently. While Yoon Joon Hee was walking on the beach side with his fiance and best friend, Choi Yoon Hee saw and recognized him so she ran to him and hugged him. After the tearful reunion, Yoon Joon Hee brought Choi Yoon Hee to his parents, and his mother was extremely happy, but it causes for Yoon Joon Hee's real sister to be jealous of Choi Yoon Hee again. However, as Yoon Joon Hee constantly met and tried to make up for the time they were away from each other, their feelings of love as sister and brother, developed into a feeling of love as a lover. Which complicate things in their life, as Yoon Joon Hee was about to marry his fiancé, his best friend told him he was in love with Choi Yoon Hee and his parents would not accept their relationship, because for his parents they are siblings. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.